In this video, I'm going to talk about and teach you how to use dictionaries. Okay, so what is a dictionary? Well, a dictionary is a collection of data uh, that is not ordered, right? So there are three um, types of collections in Swift. There are arrays, there are self collections and dictionary collections, which are basically data structures that hold data in ways that are a bit more complicated than just variables, essentially, right? A dictionary, just like in real life, holds a key and that key is associated to a value. It actually holds several key value pairs. So let's let's think of the example of an actual real life dictionary. Okay. Now a real life dictionary holds many words and each word has an associated description. So we could say that the word is a key in a real life dictionary and its description is its value. So for example, a cat, the word cat, that is a key and its value is its description. So its description will be something like a cat is a cute furry animal, uh, a feline animal that has four legs, Some, something like that, right? And that description will be the value. And so that key of cat and the value associated with it is a dictionary item. Yeah, with a key value pair association, right? I'll get into more detail of, of that later on in this video. For now, let's have a look at how to make a dictionary, okay? So, we'll make our first dictionary and we'll call it, ooh, I don't know, real dick, short for real dictionary, okay? And in order to make a dictionary, there's actually two ways to make a dictionary, but I'll show you the first. So, you have to use this keyword dictionary here for the first method. You then use these I don't know what you call them. I just call them sharp pointy things. I can't remember what they're called, if I'm honest with you. Like I said, I just call them sharp pointy things. But these things, whatever the heck they are. And inside of these, you declare what value you want, first of all. Uh, sorry, what data type you want your keys to be. And then what data type you want your values to be. So in a real dictionary, uh, the word cat would, represent, would be represented by a string in Swift. So the first value we want is a string so we want our keys to be a string okay the second value is also a string because the descriptions are strings <laughs> who would have guessed now before we can finish this we have to put two curly brackets there and this will actually make a dictionary i'll print it out for everyone to see just so you can see uh, what a dictionary looks like right an empty dictionary should i say and here we are, we've got our hello world as per standard, but we've also got this here. It looks very similar to a, an array, but it has this colon in the middle there, right? And so this is an empty dictionary. Simple enough, right? One more way to make a dictionary. So I don't know what dictionary to make. I guess we'll call it an ID dict, okay? And we'll say that it's equal to and this is a much simpler way of actually making a dictionary. All you've got to do is use square brackets, right? And we will use, I think I'll use an integer as the first value, and uh, as the first data type, and then string as the second data type. Right, and then we'll print that out. So we'll print id dict. What what happened there? Why didn't that work? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Instead of putting a comma, I'm supposed to put a colon. That's what it was. Anyway, ignore that. So put a colon. Don't do what I did. Don't do as I do. <laughs> yeah, you've got to put a colon in the middle of them there. Not a comma. I don't know why I did a comma. I think it's just a force of habit. Anyway, you can see that that's produced two dictionaries, right? Now, I can't use a key here that isn't an int, and I can't use a value here that isn't a string. Same here. You can only use the data types that have been specified for the keys and the values, right? First item being the key, the second item being the value, right? Now, you're probably wondering, how do we add an item, or how do I add an item uh, to a dictionary? 
you know, a key pair to a dictionary. And you might still be confused as to what a dictionary is. Well, I'll clear that up first. So we're going to say that real dict, and then we're going to use the square bracket notation, and we're going to use the word cat, okay? And we're going to say cat equals a nice furry creature that humans love. You may not love them, but it, it doesn't really matter if you do or not. It's just a description I'm putting out there. And then I print real dict, just so you can kind of have a C of what I mean by uh, it represents a real dictionary. Right? So here uh, we have the name that we'd f we could find under C in the dictionary. So that would be our key to find a description. And then our value, i.e. the description, is this description here, a nice furry creature that humans love, okay? I'll make another one, so we'll say real dict, we'll say, I don't know, swift, okay? Imagine that it's, swift is now a thing, all right? A programming language used primarily for mobile development I think who knows really and then we'll print out real dict and now you can see here we've got two dictionary items now I said before that it's unordered and you can see that Swift is at the front and not at the back you know there's no alphabetical ordering it doesn't seem so it's an unordered uh, collection right and the other thing is you can now see how this is, you know, kind of like a real dictionary. It has items, values that you can find, um, sorry, keys that you can use or look at. And then that key will have an associated value, just like in a real dictionary. You might look for a word, maybe, let's imagine you had a Spanish dictionary and you didn't know Spanish or a Chinese dictionary. You could look for a word that you didn't know, and that would be your key. And then you get the value from that word, you get the description, and then you'd learn something, right? So, you know, that's the use of a real dictionary, and it can be mimicked with one of these dictionaries, right? This is the only, well, it probably isn't the only way, actually, to add a value, right? Now then, let's imagine that we, uh, we try and get a value that doesn't exist. So, or we try and access a value in general, right? How to access a value. So, we go real dict, and then we use these square brackets, and we put any item that exists, any key that exists, and we just run that. And we should get from here the actual value of the item. So, I've actually looked for a cat, you know, the key cat, and it gives me the value associated with that key, a nice fairy creature that loves humans. Very nice, very nice, I'm loving that. Now then, you might be thinking, well, I don't really like cats, you know. I hate cats. So, you might want to change the definition of cat. And all you've got to do is, basically, it's exactly the same as setting, you know, a new thing, adding a new item to change an existing one. You just use the key again, and use the equal sign and put a new description and it reassigns a description so you can say horrible creatures that are fluffy right and if I once again print real dict cat you'll actually see here that I've got the item it's changed and it says horrible creatures that are fluffy now so I've changed the item right now let's suppose right that for some crazy absurd un unimaginable reason let's just let's just let's just assume that we want to look at an item that doesn't exist that for some reason we try and access an item that doesn't exist so we say real dict um z right just random digits i'll put let's see what actually comes out of that when i print that 
we get a nil value. Why? Because the value doesn't exist, so it just comes back as nil because it's non-existent, right? So if you do try and access something that does a key that doesn't exist, the value of a key that doesn't exist, you'll just get a nil value back because obviously it doesn't exist. It's nil. It's nothing, right? Easy enough. Now, how do you remove a value? Hmm. Well, you might be wondering whether it's possible. Of course it is. <laughs> Why would you be able to make a dictionary but not be able to move, remove it? You know. So let's say you just you just don't want cats there anymore. You're just sick of the idea that a cat is there, right? All you got to do is assign it like this, and assign to it nil value, right? And this will get rid of that key, and it'll also get rid of the value associated with it. So it gets rid of the key value pair, right? And if I now print real dict cat, you'll actually see that this no longer exists. Or it's nil, right? It'll come up as nil. Okay, maybe you're thinking, all right, it's just coming up as nil because you assigned it as nil. No, I'll show you here that it doesn't exist within this dictionary. So I'll actually print the whole dictionary, right? Now, it's only got Swift in it. You see that? It's only got Swift in it, which kind of proves that, yeah, this, this, this has been deleted. Yeah. Right. Now I'm going to play around with ID dict a little bit. So I'm going to add a couple of values. So I'll say ID dict uh, 192 equals Jamie Farlani. That's probably not a real name. I'll say that ID dict 99 is equal to Melania. Osnara, Osnara, there we are, and then we'll say id dict 22 is equal to Samir Smith, right? I'll just print out the whole of id dict so you can see that these have been added. I'll just run that there. Now, I've added my free key value pairs right there we are now let's say i want to do something with these value pairs right let's say i want to print every single one out but individually so i want the value and then i want the um the actual sorry i want the key and then i want the value right for each one of these and i want to iterate over a loop to mess around with them right there's probably more useful things we can do uh, with loops and dictionaries, but this is just to give you an idea how to loop. So we're going to say for, and then instead of just having one variable, we actually have two. We actually need the uh, the key and the value. So we'll say for key value in id dict, we print. And I'm just going to have this here. The key is plus key. And we're going to say value is plus value. Right. Let's see what happens. Oh. What happened there? Key is, I'm not sure, cannot be applied to operands of. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, course, course. Key is, sorry, I need to turn that into a string. I forgot that that was an int, actually. It is, though. Right, I'll do that again. Very sorry there. There we are. So, let's print it now. And we get key is 192, value is Jamie Falani. Key is 99, value is Melanie, Melania Osnara. Key is 22, value is Samir Smith, right? What this shows is that we are able to get both the key and the value and use them inside of a loop. Okay, we can iterate over a dictionary 
using a loop. We could probably do the range um, iteration, but you know this is a basics thing, and I don't need to really demonstrate that to you now. I think you probably understand that concept. Anyway, let's go over everything once again, just a little bit. So here I've made a dictionary, an empty dictionary, using the keyword dictionary. And I've declared that the key will be the keys will all be of type string, and the values associated with those keys will also be of type string. Notice the use of the curly brackets afterwards in order to initialize an empty dictionary. And here, with id dict, I've actually had to put this inside of brackets. So I've declared an int as the key. I then use a colon to separate. Now remember this because I forgot. I put a comma there, and I got a horrible error. Right, and then the second uh, data type is string, and that st string data type will be associated with all the values. So it only accepts keys of type integer and values of type string. Okay, and again, notice the curly brackets for the initializer. Here I've added an item to um, the dictionary. Uh, the key is cat, and the value is this value here. Same again here, but with the key being swift and value being this. Here, since cat already exists, when I assign this value on the left to this uh, key in the real dict, what happens is this key obviously doesn't change, but the value associated with it does, and it changes to this. Here, when I printed out this value that doesn't exist, I actually got a print out of value nil, um, because it doesn't exist, so it therefore comes up as a nil value when you search for it. Okay, there's no value associated with it. Here with real dict, I've deleted um, this key value pair with the cat that's paired to this value by assigning the value of the key cat to nil, nil to the value, right? When I print this out, you can see that it comes up as nil, but you could argue that that's because I've written this as nil and maybe that's how it comes up but then I printed out the whole dictionary and you can see that the only item in it is swift it is the key value pair swift right and so obviously that cat key has been deleted I did a few value key value pairs to uh, the id dict printed that out just so you could see those value key pairs and then here I'm iterating over that dictionary notice that here when I'm iterating I can actually iterate using two um, two variable placeholders. So this holds the value of the key, this first placeholder here, and this is the value. You can replace these names with any names you want, but essentially this is the breakdown of the logic, right? It's a key and a value. And then you can use both of them here, and this will iterate over the entire dictionary until it gets to the very last key value pair. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed.